Martin, uh, first and foremost, uh, six changes to your, your team tonight. Talk us through it. Yeah, I think I uh, just wanted to get some, some fresh legs in the team. It was only a few days to, to turn around from one game to the next. And I thought we started off the game with pretty good energy. I think that we had a good chance right away. And goals are obviously really important in the game. And so it was so frustrating and disappointing to then lose one out of nothing, really. Um, but I thought our reaction was pretty good. And in the first half, I thought we, we did some, played some good stuff, got the ball moved quite quickly from side to side, created quite a few good chances and scored a good goal from a corner. Um, second half was just it was a little bit too direct at times and, and didn't really create too many clear chances. But having said that, there was a few that, that looked like they were going in. Obviously, there was a great free kick from Lee Griffiths, a great save. Um, there was a couple of balls that just flashed across the goal and just outside the post, probably to be fair for both teams. So, um, yeah, disappointing to, to not get the win. There are a lot of draws in, in this league. It seems like there's quite a few of those and we would have certainly wanted to get the, the win to, tonight. But uh, at the same time, we have to take the point and move on. Peter Head, I thought to their credit, made it difficult for us when we were trying to, to kind of play out for the back. I thought they were really pressing us and really well organised tonight. Yeah, they pressed well and they, they looked to build out as well. I thought they did a lot of good things and um, it was like a very open game at the end. I'd like to have seen us have a little bit more discipline in our defending because you can't can't be that open. Even though you're trying to attack and get the winner, you have to make sure you don't don't lose lose a goal. So, um, you know, all things considered, we have to, we have to move forward and, and look to get a win in the next game. Did the equaliser change your team talk at all at halftime? Well, I actually thought in the first half we were we were doing pretty well. I mean, I, I think there was a lot of energy and a, and a lot of intensity to what we were doing. We were on top quite a lot. We were creating some decent chances. Um, so you can't always just judge the game by the scoreline. I think that, that that is, you know, how most people will judge it. But in the first half, we were unlucky to, to probably be 1-1. I think we could easily have been in a better position. So The stadium is now out of available yeah, I think second half it, it was a little bit more open than I would like. It didn't play as well as we did. I think in the first half we didn't move the ball as well as I would like to. But, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to get the team going. We've got a lot of new players in the team. We've taken some steps forward. I wouldn't say today was, but it wasn't a massive step back either. So we just have to move on. Was there a temptation at any point tonight to maybe sacrifice a defender to go for an extra body in midfield? Because from what you're saying there, we couldn't create too many chances. And, and that's maybe credit to Peter Head doing really well in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we were looking at that, but it's sometimes to do with the personnel. I mean, I think there's there's probably ideas that I would have about certain formations and things that I would like to do. But at the same time, I'm trying to work, you know, with players that fit in certain positions and, and try and make the most of that opportunity as well. So, yeah, there's definitely things we'd probably look at that we'd like to do differently. But if, if the personnel's maybe not there to do that, then maybe it won't work. Uh, I appreciate it's very, very early days. Um, is there any word from the medical team on Jay's? Uh, no, not yet. I'm not too sure about him yet. Uh, laterally, uh, I thought we were kind of building ahead of steam. We had a couple of chances at the end. Did you think we were going to nick it tonight? Yeah, I thought we thought we could. At the same time, you know, we, we gave up a couple of chances as well. So it was it was a little bit frustrating. I think that, you know, we're we're just in this like the reality of um, the club has been losing games for quite a long time, um, and and I just feel that the team's up and down. Confidence is up and down. We all feel the the frustration and and so on. And it's just like we have to just point by point get better and, and game by game improve and we need to pick up points we need to pick up wins we need to get better results um, but the reality is we're, we're doing it from a position where we haven't really been too strong and full of confidence for a while so we need to build that confidence and, and get the team going in the right direction and is that the biggest challenge for, for yourself from like a management perspective then aiming for that like like consistency is, is what you're talking about I guess yeah, yeah definitely I think there's a, there's a lot of work to, to do but at the same time I see great great effort there from the players I think that they put everything into it and uh, with that kind of intensity and effort and energy um, as we improve we'll get there and just finally Martin obviously we're back here at the Falkirk Stadium in a few days time it's uh, East Fife on Saturday mm -hmm. give us your thoughts on that one yeah, I mean, obviously, just kind of just finished this game, so it's hard to think too too far ahead to it. But it's nice to be home again. You know, we had a long run of, of away games and um, chance to chance to get back to another home game. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. Well, here's hoping, Martin. As always, thanks for your time. All right, thank you. Thank you very much.